वेलकम टू टूडेज लेक्चर टूडे विल सी द डेरिवेशन ऑफ गैस लॉज फ्रॉम द कैनेटिक थ्योरी और कैनेटिक इक्वेशन सो हाउ दिस गैस लॉज कैन बी डिराइव फ्रॉम द कैनेटिक इक्वेशन सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन द कैनेटिक इक्वेशन इज पी वी इक्वल टू वन बाई थ्री एम इन टू एन टू यू आर एम स्क्वायर यू ऑलरेडी वी नो दैट एन इज द नंबर ऑफ मॉलिक्यूल एम इज द मास ऑफ वन मॉलिक्यूल ना फॉर वन मोल ऑफ गैस so n we can write in terms of avogadro number so just substitute this value it becomes uh, n 1 by 3 mn u r m s square so pv will equal to total 1 by 3 m into u r m s square so m into n is equal to molar mass so again you multiply 2 by 3 here to up and down up and down so it becomes 2 by 3 into half m u r m s square so this is nothing but the kinetic energy so now we can say kinetic energy is proportional to temperature we have uh, seen in the uh, postulates of the kinetic theory so we can write kinetic energy is proportional to k into t where k is the some constant quantity so now this equation just put this value kt so we can see uh, p to be equal to 2 by 3 k into t so this is becomes the equation of uh, equations from the kinetic theory so p becomes 2 by 3 kt so this is one equations now Uh, how we can derive the other gas laws from this kinetic gas equation so now from boyle's law from this we will derive so other equations so we will see how we are driving from boyle's law p is equal to 2 by 3 at t so now if you make t constant then whole value become constant because k is also other it is also constant and temperature is constant so p is equal to constant so boyle's law is derived now again you arranged uh, this at uh, 2 by p is equal to 2 by 3 kt into p equal to v equal to 2 by 3 k into t by p now here you make constant temp uh, pressure constant because in charge law temperature is sorry pressure is constant so volume that portion constant other is constant so this is the derivation of charles law now how we can derive amantan's law so in amantan's law p is equal to 2 by 3 kt that we have already derived So we can write p by t. Other is constant. Volume is constant. Mass is constant. So we can write p by t equal to constant. For Avogadro hypothesis, so Avogadro hypothesis we know already that volume of the any gas is proportional to mass of the gas, uh, provided that the pressure and pressure and temperature should be same. Means under similar condition of any gases. So any gases means here we have taken two gases, gas one, gas two. So gas one. So again, we can take P one P one equal to one by three m one square. So this is the equation number. Uh, so it is not equation two. It will be your initial equations. So we can take uh, gas equation that we already derived. You just cut this one. That we have derived this relationship P one P one equal to one by three m one u one square from kinetic gas theory. So for gas one, m one will be different, n one will be different, and u one will be different. For gas two. P two V two equal to one by three M two and two U two. This will be also different. So now, if you can make the constant because under hypothesis pressure also constant. If you make the volume also constant, so what will happen here? So M one N one U one square. So this molar constant, but this will be equal to this one. So this is equal to this one. Now here, if temperature will also making constant, then what will happen? Uh, M1 U1 square equal to M2 square. This is from the kinetic theory. If temperature constant, then the kinetic energy of the gas will be also constant. So, so automatically, most of the gas one equal to most of the gas two. This will be equal to this. So, already we see that the volume, temperature, and pressure all constant. The mass will be also constant, and which is nothing but the derivation of the Avogadro hypothesis. Now we will see the Graham's law of diffusion. So, Graham's law of diffusion is the PV equal to 1 by 3 mn. U S square that is the kinetic gas equation. Now from here, uh, take U R M S whole square. So we will get three P V by M one, M into N. And you are taking for one mole of gas. So it becomes molar mass. M into N is the molar mass. So three P V by molar mass. Now U R M S is equal to square root of three P V by M or P V you can write in terms of R T that is three P R T by M. So U R M S is inversely proportional to inversely proportional to the uh, Molar mass of the gas at constant temperature, which, which is nothing but the uh, this rate of diffusion of the gas depends on the speed, velocity of the molecules, root mean square of velocity of the molecules, and rate of diffusion gases is, prop is proportional to the uh, root mean square velocity of the gas. Directly proportional. 
so instead of writing u we can write rate also so it will be again inversely proportional to proportional to 1 by square root of molar mass or inversely proportional to 1 by square root density of the gas at constant temperature so hence it has been derived from the kinetic gas equation now we'll see the darkness law of partial pressure how we can derive so again pv equal to 1 by 3 m and u square u r m square so this is the kinetic gas equation so just take out pressure pa for gas 1 so it become 1 by 3 m a n a u a square now similarly you take for gas b if you take gas b it becomes 1 by 3 b m b n b u b square now you know that was love partial pressure so if you add these two gases so what will happen after adding pt equal to pa plus bb so it will be 1 by 3 b m a n a u a square plus 1 by 3 b m b n b u b square now if there is more number of gases you can add it so on adding nothing happens so total pressure will equal to addition of all the pressures which is nothing but the derivation of the results of the data of partial pressure so we can uh, we can uh, so uh, derive this equation from kinetic gas equation also now kinetic gas equation for one mole of gas so this is equal to pv equal to 1 by 3 mu square m is the one mole of of the substance so pv equal to 2 by 3 into half mu square 2 by 3 into kinetic energy per mole so kinetic energy per mole equal to 3 by 2 pb or 3 by 2 rt so if you want to take for one molecule n moles so it will be this for one mole and if you want to n moles so this will be your kinetic energy per n moles equal to 3 by 2 into n into rt now if you want to derive the kinetic energy for the one mole of one molecule of gas so kinetic energy for one mole is 3 by 2 rt now kinetic energy for the one molecule will be 3 by 2 into r by n into t now, what is r by n so r by n is called as a boltzmann constant so boltzmann is a scientist based on name of the scientist this r by n value has been derived so now this we can write 3 by 2 into k into t so this becomes the kinetic energy of the gas so numerically k equal to r by n so if you put the value of r r is 8.31 per joule and this is the number of moles of the molecule so it becomes 1.38 into 10 to the power minus 23 joule per kelvin so this is the value constant value of Boltzmann constant so all these were the derivations of the uh, so I, different type of ideal gas laws from kinetic gas equations